Welcome back everyone, I'm the Moy Chicken, this is more DuckTales, we are here with Scrooge McDuck and Dewey and Huey and Spare Dewey, and today we are going to the African Mines to find a large diamond. Um, and there, there are lots and lots of slugs that we will find. Look at them! Look at their strange, wacky faces! They look so unhinged! Die! Also die! You two die! Oh hey, it's, it's du dueled. Hello. You need a key to get in. It's in Transylvania. Okay. So this is a thing that, um... I can't remember how I found out this information. Um, that in order to so in order to, uh, find the skeleton key, you just go right here. But, um, if you didn't know this, it would be a huge... Eureka! It's it, it's the skeleton key to the vine. I was gonna try and do an accent, and then it just completely went off track immediately. Whatever. Um, yeah. If you didn't know that and thought you had to like search all the way through Transylvania again, that would be really frustrating. Because as I mentioned in the last episode, Transylvania is the most complicated level in the game, so that would be a pain in the butt. Fortunately, for whatever reason, I know about it. So there we go. Um, yeah. So. I feel like, um, so in my mind, there are, uh, you know, there, there are five five stages in this game, and I feel like there are three songs. Are you going to come down? You're just going to hang out up there until I get past you, aren't you? Yeah, there you go. Stupid that, and then it crashes, and it gets, like, dizzy, and I kill it. And that's how, that's how it works. And now I'm invincible for no reason. Why would I need invincibility right now? There aren't any enemies over here, and it causes my animations to slow down. Great. Um, what was it? Yeah, so I feel like there are, like, this game has notoriously very good music. In particular, the the uh, BGM for the Moon stage is, like, famous as being one of the best, like, NES jams there is, I think, for a lot of people. Um, that's to say, I feel like there are also a lot of, like, the other songs are really good. But in particular, the three songs that stand out in my mind as the best on the soundtrack are... The Moon, I agree. I think it's a fantastic song. Uh, Transylvania, I've always really enjoyed. And then this level. And then the other two, Amazon and the Himalayas, are just... They're not bad. They're just okay. Okay, this is Miss Mrs. Beakley, I believe? She just throws ice cream at you. She just refills your HP. I think that's the only place she shows up, shows up in the game, maybe? And then you do this. You jump, and you jump off of Murducks, I think is what those are supposed to be. And I killed them. Fantastic. And we go this way to find more. So this is a this is a hidden treasure. It's like a ring. It's a hidden treasure. These are not necessary, but they get you the best ending if you find all of them. So I'm going to try and find as many as I can. Now that said, um, I'm actually going to have to die, I think, once in here to get something because so. This level, you know, kind of like, all the levels have branching paths. This one in particular is a little frustrating because if you come over here past the Murducks, I believe you can't actually get back. So you see this guy here. This is actually the end of a long, wacky sequence, kind of like with the uh, minecarts from the previous stage. Um, and in order to get to that, you kind of have to go like to the, like, if I, if I were to go to the left here, that would bring me to the end of the stage. Um, yeah, I'm gonna have to die. Um, uh, I'm gonna have to die so I can go back to the beginning, beginning of the stage, so I gotta hit him, and then just walk up the cliff. Um, what was I saying? Yeah, you, I would have had to have turned left up, like, back here, so we're gonna go back and take care of that. I'm not wild about that. Like, in general, I, I like for a game to give you access to, like, all the areas, Unless the game is explicitly structured around, like, branching paths. Like, you know, take something like like Persona 3 or 4, you know. Th in those games, you can't really do everything easily in one run because you have to, you know, manage your time so carefully. In this, I don't know. There's no reason why I shouldn't be able to get everything in one go, I think, in DuckTales. But you can't. At least I don't think you can. You may be able to jump back across the, uh, the Murducks, but I don't think you can. Anyway, so you're supposed to just uh, do this. There we go. And find more hidden treasure. Specifically, an extra life. So that's good. Um, I, these things... Okay, so these things here, I always thought were... Um, 
like, bins of coal? I think they're just supposed to be slag, since this is, like, a, a mine, and that's why if you whack them, you get, uh, like, diamonds out of them. But it just sort of looks like coal to me. Give me a diamond. There we go. Alright, so over here, there's that. There's one more. Can I go over here? Yeah. Secrets. Secret, secret, extra life, fantastic. I guess that's more than made up for it, so I shouldn't complain too much. Um, what was I saying? Oh yeah, about the music. So this game does have notoriously very good music, and um, I feel like the sort of the, the the one track that is always sort of like the lost track in my mind is the Himalayas, because you know I, I mentioned already that my three favorites are Transylvania, uh, the African Mines and the moon um and so i remember those and then amazon is you know the first one on the list and it's i wouldn't say it's necessarily the easiest level uh because uh i'd say this is probably the easiest level all things to, uh, all things told i think they made it easier because of the, because of the whole transylvania thing um but it's the first one on the list so it's very familiar so whenever i hear that song i'm always like you know, it's like, oh yeah, I'm at, the, I'm at the beginning of the game. This is the beginning of DuckTales. It's the beginning of DuckTales' song. So, um, oh geez. So I, that one's very familiar, but like, Himalayas, it's like World 4? I don't know, it's just very... I don't think about it very much. It's a good song. Oh hey, it's Launchpad. What's up, buddy? You'll want to lift back to Duckbird, Mr. McD? Yes, A, no, B. Now I'm going to show... <laughs> Scrooge, what are you doing? He's like, he's got really nice pants. Did I buy you those pants? I don't remember you having those. <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm going to have to show you something with Launchpad if I can get it to happen. So, I, I think I mentioned that Launchpad just... Oh, hey, it's Hewis, du Hewis Dubert, and Luok. Let's uh, let's go along with them. Yep, yep. What were they just doing in this uh, minecart for no reason? They're just here, I guess? There they go. Bye, guys. <laughs> I'm a good uncle. I'm the best uncle. <laughs> um, yeah, so he brings you back to Duckburg. Um, but every once in a while, he does something else, too. He's got, like, a second function that he will do every once in a while. Um, where he'll bring you to, like, a... a, a okay, now it's fine. Uh, he'll bring you to a special bonus area. Um, I don't know how reliable it is. I'll go ahead and try to get it, but, um, it's not super easy to get done. And it's one, it's one of the few secrets in this game. There's another one. There's actually, um, there are special endings to this game. I mentioned earlier that if you, oh, here, it's Webby. Hello, Webby. Use the seesaw, Uncle Scrooge. Is that what this is? A seesaw? Just looks, looks like a, what is this? Uh, go. Oh, jeez! Uh, oh, right, 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 yeah, 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 and then I fall on this guy. That's how it works. Okay, so this this is where we were earlier, so we are almost done with the stage. Um, yeah, uh, so there are three endings to this game. Uh, there is the normal ending, wherein you just sort of beat the game, you know, get all the treasures, and you're done. Um, there is the good ending, where you get, you beat all the stages, and you also find all the hidden treasures, and then there's a secret ending, and... I don't... <laughs> I don't think I'll be able to get it. I've never managed to get it. But I will I will expound on that more when we are closer to the end of the game. But suffice it to say, this game does have secrets. And that's cool. I like games that have secrets. Um, and now we are fighting what appears to be a giant-nosed, like, surly... He looks like a construction worker, but he's also a giant slug, I think. And I'm just going to keep bouncing on his head. I think this is probably a character from an episode, but since I didn't watch the show, I don't know. And we beat him. So, what do we get this time? We get... Okay, I want it to happen. Come on, do the thing. Do the thing. I want I want to show it off. Come on, Scrooge. Yeah, he's doing it! Look at him go! What is that? Oh, it's so weird looking. <laughs> it's so weird looking as he bounces up and down. Um, yeah, so that's going to be the African Mines. I, I kind of flubbed through that, but I will t I'll tell you more about the secret ending if I can as we get farther in the, in the in the game but for right now that's going to be it for this episode so in the next episode we will be going on to the himalayas to get this pumpkin or crown or eagle 
or something. It's valuable. That's all we really know is that it's valuable. So we're going to get it. So I hope you will come back and join me for that. I'm the Moly Chicken. This is DuckTales. Thanks for stopping by.